What's up, cereal heads? Today we're gonna to talk about new green onion check cereal from South Korea. Now this cereal isn't available in stores here in the US. I was fortunate enough to get this box from Cereal Time fans Jacob and Jumo from South Korea. I'm extremely grateful and thankful for the generosity of Cereal Time fans. Now we have a lot to unpack with this cereal here. This green onion flavored check cereal is about 16 years in the making. Let me briefly explain. Back in 2004, Kellogg South Korea started an ad campaign for their new chocolatey check cereal. In the campaign, they pretended there was two flavors running for the new Chex flavor, the chocolate one and a green onion flavor. It was like a presidential campaign where the public could vote to see which flavor they wanted to be the new Chex. Now obviously Kellogg's only ever intended to make a chocolate version of this cereal, but when the public votes on stuff, well, you know what happens. Of course, people overwhelmingly voted for the green onion flavor because why not? It's funny. Then Kellogg's tried to shut down the online voting when they realized it wasn't going their way. And then basically they swept it under the rug and just went ahead with their new chocolate flavored checks. And they figured everything was okay. That chocolate version of the South Korean Czech cereal sells well. You might recall me covering it back when I did a video about South Korean cereals. They have a few different versions of the chocolate Czech cereal over there. Here's a box for one of them that I covered in that previous video. And yes, it is strange that Kellogg's does Czech cereal over there in South Korea when it's a General Mills brand, but that's a tangled web that I'm not gonna try to untangle. Anyway, people didn't forget about the green onion flavor. In fact, there were numerous online petitions, memes, and complaints about how Kellogg's didn't listen to its customers and didn't honor their vote. So now in 2020, 16 years after they first started that ad campaign, Kellogg's has finally given the people what they want. Now there are a couple commercials for this cereal, but last time I tried to show a South Korean Kellogg's commercial here on Cereal Time, I got a copyright notice, so I'm just gonna link them in the description for you to go find on your own. Now you can see from the box here, there's a green colored Chex guy there. He's holding a green onion or a scallion in his hand. And it looks like there's some noxious oniony odor coming out of his mouth. According to Google Translate, it looks like he's saying something like the real green onion is here. You can see it also says limited edition because this is clearly not something they intend to stick around. You can also see the little chocolate checks guy here in the back who looks really scared and shocked to see the green onion checks. Now on the bottom of the box there, it has some of the ingredients listed, including a mixed vegetable powder, and apparently green onion makes up 31% of that. So it should definitely have some green onion flavor to it. Now on the side of the box here, they have some nutrition facts and it talks about nutrition daily percentages. And then on the back of the box here, it shows you a close up of the cereal and has the green onion checks guy telling you that he has arrived. And he also says here that the cereal is good as a dry snack or with milk. Now I have my doubts about the latter, but I think it's time for us to find out. So let's open up this box and take a look. And like most South Korean cereals, they have the foil bags inside instead of the plastic ones that we're used to here in the US. Mm, yeah, there's definitely a potent oniony smell to this stuff. All right, so here's what a bowl of green onion checks from South Korea looks like. The pieces aren't a super rich green color. They just have a light green hue and a sort of sugary glaze to them. And as you can see, these don't look the same as our Czech cereal here. You can see that these checks are a little larger and puffier. So let's try one of these pieces dry before we hit them with some milk. Here we go, just take one piece. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that. It has a pretty strong green oniony flavor to it. There's some sweetness there as well, but it's really outdone by the pungent green onion flavor. I mean, it's not terrible. It's kind of like eating green onion chips or something like that, but I'm just not sure it should be combined with milk for a cereal. But I guess we kind of have to do that, don't we? So let's hit him with some milk. Oh, yeah, that's not good at all. Yeah. Oh man, I think I actually prefer those 20 year old cereals that I open and eat more than this stuff. Combining them with milk really makes it worse. When you take a spoonful of cereal, your brain expects something sweet and that's not what's happening here. It's salty and oniony and just not a good mix with milk at all. Which isn't to say you can't make a delicious sweet and salty cereal. That maple bacon donut cereal and chicken and waffle cereal from Post were actually pretty good. They did a good job of balancing that sweet and salty combo. Whereas this one, well, it's just not good. And I guess I have to try the milk now to see if it makes a sweet oniony broth. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, this is terrible. I'm never gonna eat this ever again. So in conclusion, no surprise, I am not a fan of this cereal. Again, as a dry snack, it's not too bad. If you're looking for an oniony, sweet, 
crunchy snack to munch on from time to time, then sure. But it definitely should not be eaten with milk as a cereal. And of course, Kellogg's knew that. That's why they gave us the chocolate version and didn't give us the green onion version 16 years ago. But I guess I give them credit for owning up to their mistake and finally giving the public what they voted for. Now, if you live in the US and you don't get to try this stuff, well, don't feel bad. You're not missing anything. Let's just hope that Kellogg's at some point tries a similar ad campaign here in the US and we can force them into making a crazy flavored cereal. What would be the weirdest, yet still kind of interesting flavor that you could come up with? Let me know down in the comments. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this green onion check cereal. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. And I feel that if we're going to talk about to the total liberation of black people, we first have to liberate ourselves from the material conditions of our oppression. And the material conditions of our oppression are no jobs, are bad jobs, unemployment, bad housing, bad medical care, and all of the kinds of things that will be eradicated under socialism.